Hey guys, Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series and in today's episode we're going to be showing you how to create a basic health system inside of Unreal Engine. So I'm going to go ahead and show you quickly what we're going to be creating today and um, we're going to pretty much break it down and show you the possibilities of what you can actually do using this health system. So right now what I've done is I've attached a variable to the player character and that variable is actually going to represent the player health. Health. If I go ahead and press left control, it prints a string which is actually that value. So you can see the player health going down. So each time this event is called, it actually subtracts the player health. And when it gets down to zero, it actually destroys the player um, and it's game over. And from there, if you wanted to, you could add an end game screen or any of that cool stuff. Um, it's a very basic system, but pretty much all health systems work exactly this way a variable um, you know to represent the player health. I'm going to go ahead and show you a project that I've been working on over the past few days um, which is pretty much going to show you you know how far you can actually push out that health system you know you can represent it in the form of UI, end game screens and more. So when I possess the player here you can't actually see that variable but I've actually got it shown in the form of a progress bar so when it's empty so when the player goes down, sorry, when the variable goes down, the progress bar actually gets shorter and over time it also regenerates that health and is shown on the bar. Now, something else you might do is, you know, when the player actually dies, which is quite simple to do actually, uh, you can go ahead and add an end game screen. So if I go ahead and press play and if I dive in here and if I get killed by the robots, you know, it shows you you forgot to survive. You can go back to the menu, press again, do whatever you want to do really. Um, but you know, there's loads of possibilities you can do with health systems. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. That's enough of that for now. I'm not going to save it. And I'm going to go back to here. And we're going to show you how you can actually create that variable and uh, work with the maths used to actually take away health or add health and all of that cool stuff. So first things first, we need to understand that we're going to attach the, uh, the variable to, sorry, one second, my girlfriend keeps calling, uh, and I'm in the middle of a tutorial. Hey Amy, sorry, I'm in the middle of recording a tutorial, can you call back later? Also, uh, you're in the episode, goodbye. Okay, sorry, that's all sorted now. Anyway, let's get back into this. You also need to understand that, um, you know, your variable is going to be inside the actor that you actually want to have the health for. So, being a character, we're going to open up the third person character blueprint, and we're going to put the variable inside of there. So if we go ahead and open it up, find wherever your character class is, um, whether that's third person, first person, whatever you're working with, just open it up and yeah. So you can see I've got some basic script in here. Uh, it's quite simple really, just an event and then I subtract the health and I've got some branch and conditioning to destroy the actor if I need to. But I'm going to go ahead and delete this and we're going to work from scratch. So I keep saying the word variable. Variable is a piece of information, a piece of data, and this data is going to be a number. So go ahead and create a new variable, and we're going to name this player health. Player health, and then we're going to set this to uh, an integer. And from this, we now have a value. The default value is going to be 100, because that's going to be the player's health. And then each time I go ahead and call off an event, I'm going to go ahead and type in a left control event for now. Uh, it could be anything you want, like damaging the player, uh, you know, like a projectile colliding with the player. But I'm just trying to show you this for now. I'm going to drag this out and I'm going to hook it up to a set player health. And this is going to allow us to work with, math fun uh, with maths functions. If you haven't seen that video already, go ahead and use uh, click it. Uh, click the button in the top hand, uh, top right hand corner to see that and you can figure out how all that works. But from here I'm just going to do integer minus integer and this time what it's going to do is subtract a from b or a minus b. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set 25 is the minus amount that we want to take off the player each time and we're going to use the original value for a. So the original value minus 25 and then return value is going to be here. And we're going to go ahead and just do print string. Uh, we're going to hook this up to this bit here. Print string. And boom. And this, now, each time we go ahead and press play. And we press control, the value is going down by 25. 
However, it actually goes down below zero, which we don't want to do. We need to set up some kind of basic def system. So go ahead and open this blueprint again. Just open it up just like this. Um, and let's go ahead and drag out a branch. This allows us to control the flow. And this flow is going to be based on whether or not the player health is below or equal to. So to do that, just go ahead and drag out condition and go to uh, less than, sorry, one second, less, less than, and it's integer, less than, or equal to integer. So what this is going to do is basically check whether or not the first value here is, um, you know, less than or equal to the second value. So the value for this, um, you know, the value we're working with is going to be the player health. And then, you know, it's going to be zero for, you know, less than. If it goes below zero, it's going to die. So let's go ahead and drag this out. And from here, we're just going to go ahead and do destroy actor. The player will die. You can had, uh, you can hook up your end screen, whatever you want to do here. It's really that simple. Um, you know, it's really scalable. Um, but hopefully this should give you a good idea of how pretty much everything works. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Press play and press left control a couple of times and now the player actually gets destroyed. Uh, it's as simple as that, you can play around with it, do whatever you want. I showed you in that other project example I just showed you, you could do loads of crazy stuff, play around with it, you know, you can even add in health variables for the AI if you wanted to, you know, and you can make those destroy and stuff like that. Anyway, that's everything for this tutorial, thanks for watching, comment, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye!